afternoon fellow collectors May 9th 2009 and in today's video we're gonna focus on one item and one item only and that item is lot number two on the Coach's Corner auction site www.myccsa.com now the autograph in question is an autograph baseball of Michael Joseph Kelly also known as Mike Kelly also known as Mike King Kelly really known as just plain old King Kelly and after this video, I want you to go to Google, go to Google, and do a search on Mike King Kelly. And you will find him to be a very, very fascinating person and ball player. As a matter of fact, when I was reading his bio, I was actually laughing and chuckling because I can just picture this guy doing the stuff that's described in his bio. Um, I would have loved to have watched someone like him, even though some of the things he did were not so on the up and up, but he was a very entertaining ball player. But anyway... Let's get into some discussion about this lot number two on the Coach's Corner auction site. It's actually signed MJ Kelly, Michael Joseph Kelly, and with an inscription of 1890 on there. And look who it's authenticated by. Yep, Morales. Now, our questions, or more specifically, my questions to Morales are these. What exemplars did you use to certify and authenticate this autograph as Mike King Kelly. What did you use as examples? Using that little microscope of yours, because we said to you with that little microscope and that photograph of yours on your website, we want to know what you used to certify and finalize that this was Mike King Kelly's autograph on this baseball with an inscription. All right. I also want to know how it found its way to Coach's Corner. And why didn't the consigner send this to a major authentication service and then send it and consign it to a major auction house and get so, you know, I mean, real primo bucks on this item? I mean, in the item description, Coach's Corner writes, it's got a $55,000 book value. But let me tell you something. A Mike King Kelly autograph on a baseball? You're talking a minimum of a hundred thousand dollars. Now, let's also consider this. As of May 9th, this auction is up to a whopping two hundred dollars. Do you know what that means? That means the major collectors who would lust and desire something like this looked at it and turned the page. Nothing to do with this. And the major and the main point and question here, Morales, and I don't care if you've authenticated the last pair of underwear worn by Jimmy Hoffa. We all want to know by what means did you authenticate this Mike King Kelly autograph baseball that is as of right now, May 9th, 2009, up to a whopping $200. When even Coach's Corner claims the book value is 55000 when in reality, the book value of something like this, you know, someone you're like an, uh, an Eddie Plank type autograph, I would say $100,000, bare minimum. You just don't see this anywhere. I couldn't find any exemplars of any autograph of King Kelly anywhere. So my challenge to you, Morales, is why don't you let us know the hobby industry, where and how, by what means, did you authenticate this autograph? And uh, a word to you, Mr. T.S. O'Connell at SCD. Something like this should really interest you. Don't, doesn't it make you wonder where Coach's Corner got this from? And why Morales authenticated it? Why wasn't it sent to any other major authentication service? Why did it go to Morales? Why didn't the consigner, you know, send it off to a, uh, a, a more higher-end auction house? But somehow, something rare like this, and this is uh, par for the course, ended up on the Coach's Corner auction site. So I'm sure Morales will somehow see this video. Somebody will direct it to him, and uh, hopefully he can uh, answer some questions. How about it, Morales? You're going to do it? Let's hear from you.